Well, one of Australia's most powerful energy watchdogs has flagged a shake-up of electricity pricing rules, promising to put power companies on notice for how they're charging consumers. To tell us what this all means, our energy reporter Daniel Mercer is in the studio with us this morning. Lovely to see you on the couch, Daniel. Morning. So, what has sparked this uh, revamp? It really goes to the rollout of smart meters across the country. Mm. Uh, here in Victoria, people have had smart meters for quite a while, everybody, I believe. But in the rest of Australia, it's a different story. There's a huge rollout on in earnest. Uh, it's going to be uh, everywhere, on every home by 2030. And as part of that, smart meters allow very complex prices, much more dynamic prices to be charged you know, in line with the services that, you know, you would be more familiar with paying for a taxi, you know, paying for an airline ticket, all of those sorts of things where it's based on demand and mm. supply at any one time. The so, problem is no one is being told. So like cheaper in the middle of the day, for example, when the sun's shining, got a solar in the system, more expensive at night on a cold night or a very, very hot day. And example. I believe you had a story with a baker who, is this <laughs> right? Was that your story that where there was a baker who was getting charged Crazy Indeed. because, yeah. It's almost like a form of surge pricing. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So this is on uh, and it's affecting hundreds of thousands of households across the country. It'll affect just about every household across the country by 2030. Um, yeah, but the, the problem really lies with the fact that there is very little that's being communicated to consumers. And so the first time they're often finding out about it is when they open a bill, they get mm. some sort of a shock and the more sharp-eyed and engaged consumers are actually reading the fine print. Right, so what, what, could, what sort of changes could actually take place? So Anna Collier is the chair of the Australian Energy Market Commission. It's the rule maker in the national electricity market, which services basically 10 million households across the eastern seaboard. She has flagged a perhaps a slowdown in the rate of this change that's taking place they are very worried, and so is the Australian energy regulator, about consumers being affected unwittingly. Mm. Reports, a groundswell really, of concern is now starting to reach the regulators as it is the industry, as it is now us in the media. And so I think the regulators are grasping the gravity of this. They want smart meters, they want the changes they can bring to make the grid more efficient. But it needs to be done properly. And I think there's a recognition that at the moment, perhaps that's not happening. Well, while we've got you, Daniel, just quickly, um, I mean, you, you cover this day in, day out. How pervasive and concerning is bill shock for Australian households right now? Yeah, it, look, it's a, it's a big deal, right? I mean, electricity is an essential service. It's something that all of us have to use and pay for. And when we can't predict what our next bill is going to be, and it could be significantly higher, you know, we've heard cases of bills doubling, and people are often, you know, basically blind to the fact that it's not just because they might have used more power, but the way they're being mm. charged has changed. Uh, that's a problem. Mm. And I think there's now, uh, we're entering a period of increased volatility in the energy market, increased instability for our electricity bills. And ultimately, what consumers want is simplicity. I think the last thing most consumers want is bill shock or total unpredictability. And so how the system, how the industry uh, can somehow get a bit more predictability back is now the North Star.